Today is Wednesday, September the 5th, 2012 at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. What we have here in this tank is coconut husk that's been rehydrated, ground coconut husk that's been rehydrated. Notice the difference? That's off the powder off the bottom, fiber off the top, it's separated. Oh, powder off the bottom, fiber off the top. It's tending to separate as it sits here I in took this, this tank. Off the top and it's fibrous. This has got it's finer. There's uh, more dust off the bottom, so I, I know the spines are sinking to the bottom. So it has to be kept agitated. That way, the bigger fibers will catch the smaller ones. We're planning on using the CP4 for this. Yep, we got it running. We plan on running this material through our. Vincent model CP4 screw press. The four means it has a four inch diameter screw. There you can see the inlet portion at the bottom of the inlet hopper. As is the case with all of our presses, you have a motor driving a gearbox, which drives the screw. You can see the screw rotating there. It goes through a shaft seal, and again into the hopper, through the screen section, that's where the liquid is intended to come out. The solids have to come out past this bronze cone that's actuated by an air cylinder. And there's an FRL set with a gauge that comes with every press. And uh, you can adjust the amount of air pressure on the uh, cylinder to give a final adjustment of press cake moisture. Pat's about to pour in the first material. Go ahead and pour some in, Pat. How many do I see coming? Generally, of course, you're going to see most of the free liquid dropping out early on in the screen. Frequently, when we're running the material for the first time, we'll wait to see some come out towards the cone before we actually close the cone. So right now, the, the cone is not uh, doing anything. But now we see material coming out of the end, so the cone is now closed to provide back pressure. You can see we're getting a pretty solid stream of, of liquid. There it is pouring out of the bottom. We're not collecting it or catching it in anything. Okay, good amount of liquid coming out at the beginning. Uh, there's a bit of a lull sort of in the center, but it's there. You can see the liquid come out with each pass each time the flight passes by, you see a little extra liquid coming out at the discharge end here where it's the highest compression, where it's having to force its way out past the cone. Wow, it went through that first uh, five gallon pail very, very quickly. I'll, uh, I'll try to film as he's pouring in. Uh, half a pail essentially going in. Very quickly it feeds out of the hopper. That's the three bar pressure. We're up to three bar in terms of pressure. Definitely creating uh, a dry looking cake. Difference in color, it becomes lighter in color as it dries. Very dry. Some of it still sticks to your hand, but that's a. That's what it is. Yeah. I was just sweat. Now, with less fiber, it might take a little longer to empty the hopper, but boy, it's going anyway. No indication of screen blinding. There is a little bit of material coming out through the slots in the screen, but not much. Continuing to collect press liquor here, and we finally put a, a bucket under there and collect it. But look at the volume of press liquor. Very good. Bob's grabbing some samples here of the, uh, of the press cake. Anybody have a felt tip pen? I have a double out.
far so good. Again, some solids come through the screen, but that gets worse as you stop feeding the machine. If we were to continue feeding material into the press, that wouldn't happen quite like it is. For the record, we're running the press at 60 hertz. And let me look at the gearbox here. 60 hertz, 60 hertz. Where is that tag? There it is. RPM of 20. So we are running this through at 20 RPM to achieve these results. It is possible to slow it down, of course. Uh, frequently a slower machine will give you less of the solids through the screen and potentially drier press cake, but uh, that just may not be necessary in this case. Plenty of material left. Don't know what uh, what's going to happen with some of the rest of this, but we'll see. For now, I'm going to stop recording, and we'll pick up if anything interesting happens. An important observation to make about this material is that capacity would be high. The flow of press cake is is uh, is large, and uh, it would be safe to assume then that a Vincent press operating on this material would operate near its uh, high capacity uh, rating. Also just for the reason we're running again is to see we let the press run without being fed for quite some time and it pushed a lot of solids through the screen which it tends to do under those conditions. Uh, the idea here was to run it and keep it fed and see if it looked like there was less solids on the outside of the screen or it being pushed through the screen as a result. Looks encouraging. But the main purpose here of, of starting the filming again, whoo, sorry guys. Uh, main purpose of starting the filming again was to uh, show you the high flow of press cake.